Our top story tonight at 5.30, a new report shines the spotlight on the Oakland Police Department's handling of last year's George Floyd murder protest. And today, Oakland's police chief addressed the findings of that report. Crown Force Hazik Medun has the story. You're looking at photos showing a person's body after being hit about 20 times when police fired rubber bullets into crowds during last year's George Floyd murder protest in Oakland. And this is video of tear gas being used against protesters. We addressed those events. We had uses of force. The results of an independent investigation into use of force complaints against OPD officers during the protests conducted by Oakland's Community Police Review Agency sustained over 30 allegations against Oakland police. Chief Laron Armstrong describes the challenges officers faced over consecutive days of protest. First of all, I want to say that our officers did a phenomenal job over a four-day period. If you think about three days of some of the most violent protests that I've seen in my over 20 years, of 22 years of being a member of this department, the idea that you would face uh, 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 officers being targeted, uh, violence, in, in, including rocks and bottles being thrown at officers, and even the death of the federal officer Underwood. It was a challenging night. However, the chief admits... The use of tear gas did not comply with OPD policy. Policy is very clear that in order to use that level of force, there must be imminent danger to the officer or a community member. During these investigative processes, they determined that that did not exist. And what we heard from the public was that Oakland expects accountability from its officers. The chair of the Oakland Police Commission, Regina Jackson, says she finds the chief's words of accountability encouraging. We're, we're going in the right directions in some entities. We've still got a lot of work to do, but I believe we have the right leader for the right time under his leadership, because again, last year he wasn't leading, um, that, that we won't have these kind of outcomes anymore. Hazik Medyun, Cron 4 News.